so we're still talking about rational exponents, which are very much connected to radicals. And so we're going to be rationalizing, doing a lot of things, but all with fractional exponents. And so we're going to have a lot of things to remember. And so I want us to remember what to do when before we had x squared times x cubed. And so we had 2x's and 3x's, and so that made 5x's. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to do that, but with fractional exponents. And so if we had 3 to the 5 thirds times 3 to the 1 third, what we're going to want to do is same base, x's and x's, 3 and 3, so we're going to end up with 3's. And just like we added the exponents over here, we're going to add the exponents over here. We get 5 thirds plus 1 third. Remember that when you add fractions, you need common denominators. And so we're going to get 3, and it's still going to be over 3. But to the 5 plus 1, 6 over 3 power. So we're going to get 3 to the second, which is 9. All right, next property. We had x squared cubed. And we sort of dealt with that in the last section as well. But what you have now is if we had 9 to the 1 fourth power, and we raised that to the second power. What we ended up doing here was that was x squared times x squared times x squared, or we'd multiply the exponents, x to the sixth. And so we're going to multiply the exponents here as well. So the 9 stays the same, but then we multiply 1 fourth times 2. 1 fourth times 2, we put 2 over 1, we're multiplying fractions. You can cross cancel or just get 2 over 4. 9 to the 2 over 4, which is the 1 half. 9 to the 1 half, we talked about in the last section, was really the square root of 9, which is 3. Next property, um, we have had x times y squared. And because that was really x times y times x times y, you could just distribute that over multiplication, and the 2 went to both of those. And so now the property is, if we have 25 times 9 to the 1 half power, that could be distributed to both of those, 25 to the 1 half and 9 to the 1 half. And so that's really the square root of 25, which is 5, and the square root of 9, which is 3. And so you end up with 15. So our next property, negative exponents. Again, we dealt with that in the last section. And so just a little quick review. x to the negative second, if we got 4 to the negative 3 halves, we dealt with that by saying, well, that's the same as 1 over 4 to the positive 3 halves. And that was because this changed into 1 over x to the positive 2. And so then we dealt with this in the last section where we said, let's make it smaller first. So we let's take care of the 1 half part of the exponent and then take part of the 3. This is going back into this property up here, how we can split it up by going backwards. And so you can take the square root of 4, because 4 to the 1 half represents the square root of 4, which is 2. And so you get 1 over 2 cubed which is 1 over 8, because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Next property was when we had x to the 7th divided by x squared. We would have um, 7 x's on top, 2 x's on the bottom, and so that leaves a difference of 5. And so we always subtracted those. And so that still applies. Now if we have say for example 5 to the 7 fourths divided by 5 to the 1 half. Um, 
the only problem is is that we need to subtract these exponents and we have different denominators. And so how do we subtract 7 fourths minus 1 half? Well, the common denominator is going to be 4 because we can multiply the 1 half by 2 over 2 and get 2 over 4. So we get 5 to the 7 fourths minus 2 fourths, which leaves 5 fourths. And there's no way we can simplify that. Again, we could probably use our calculator to simplify that a little bit and approximate it, but we're just going to leave it the way it is. Um, and finally, if you had our last property here, x, cu x over y cubed equals x cubed over y cubed. In the same way you can distribute over multiplication, you can distribute over division because you get x over y times x over y times x over y, and so you have three x's on top, three y's on, on the bottom. You can do that same thing if you had 27 over 8 to the one-third power. You could make that 27 to the one-third and 8 to the one-third power. And so 27 to the one-third, that's the cubed root of 27. What times itself three times? So 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. And what times itself three times is 8? That's 2. And so we're left with 3 halves. So we can deal with this with in radicals as well. And radicals are still the same thing as fractional exponents, and so it's going to look very, very similar as to what we just covered. And so if we have xy squared, that became x squared y squared. We already talked about that. And so in radicals, we're going to take that the opposite direction. We're going to have, say, the cubed root of 3 times the cubed root of 9. And what that becomes is 3 to the 1 third times 9 to the 1 third because we talked about how that can be re rewritten as the 1 third power. And now we're going to take it backwards. Both of these are squared, and so we could write it like that. And so we're going to do 3 times 9, both of those raised to the 1 third power. 3 times 9 is 27, and so 27 to the 1 third power. And so really that's the cubed root of 27. And so that's the property of exponents, a uh, property of radicals rather, where you have the cubed root times the cubed root. You can just multiply what's inside. And so we are allowed to go straight to here and multiply 3 times 9 to get the cubed root of 27, which ultimately is just 3. So you can just skip that step. Same way when you divide, um, if we had the square root sorry, the fourth root of 64 divided by the fourth root of 4. What we can do is change that to the 64 to the 1 fourth power over 4 to the 1 fourth power. And that can be 64 over 4 to the 1 fourth power. Which, if we take it down, is really just 16 to the one-fourth power, which is the fourth root of 16, because 64 divided by 4 is 16. And then what times itself, 4 times, is 16? 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 again is 16, and so 2 is our answer. And so again, we can take the fourth root of 64 over 4 and change it into the fourth root of 64 divided by 4 because of the properties of exponents, which would take you to there.